Hey everybody, it's Jochen Heiden and I'm back with a new campaign. I've already done a live uh, stream about this, but I'll be playing a guy named Macho Mandolf. I have no idea what that name means, but I'll be playing Japan. He'll be playing the Allies, and this is scenario one. No mods, no variants, no edits, straight, classic, 11.26b scenario one. I'm a little nervous about this first turn because I've decided on what I feel is a bit of an aggressive strategy. A very aggressive strategy and I may have put some stuff in harm's way right off the bat and I don't know how he's gonna react to it I have no idea I've done a lot of testing game planning I've attempted to test all the worst case scenarios for me but that doesn't mean he won't have thought of something that I didn't so I let's just let's just run it and see how it goes guys I have no idea what's gonna happen here wish me luck Okay, let's let's fire it up. Have a bad day. Oh, gee, thanks. How lovely. Uh, initially, I entitled this 7 December term, but I guess uh, he wants me to have a bad day. So let's have a bad day. <sighs> Guys, here we go. All right, here we are. So first thing I'm worried about is where are the Okay, all right, so we got Dutch subs right off of uh, Malaya That those are expected yeah, it's inevitable that you're gonna run into these things, right? <sighs> Hopefully we can do some damage to them. Yep, cool So in my tests, I fully expect it to be intercepted by Dutch subs off of Malaya. There's no way that you can't, because they start there. All right, looks like we chipped some paint off of this, uh, off this K-11. Oh, come on, survive it. Good. Hey, this is a good strategy, right? Let's run these Dutch subs out of ammo right off the start. Good hit. So these these uh, destroyers all have these Type 95 depth charges, but they're perfect for this shallow water. This light colored stuff here, shallow water, and these destroyer these uh, depth charges can get down to where the subs can go. And they really want this guy today, don't they? Okay, so the K-12 gets one hit. Probably not going to do much damage to it. But fires two torpedoes. All right. So now what you're seeing here, these mergings, are my special move task forces uh, merging together for their final moves on to their destinations. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> got lucky there. All right, so these um, S-36, these are American submarines, and they have torpedoes that actually work, unlike the Mark 14 equipped submarines. So the fact that we are able to survive the first attack here is great. Uh, I would consider that a good omen. Interesting that he picked vegan to, to post up in. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to have inter intervention by the... Uh, British destroyers from Hong Kong. I was very concerned about where those things might go on turn one. Apparently they went nowhere that I need to be worried about right now. Okay, guys. I see a lot of activity in the... Uh... Yep, look at that. So... 
Starting off with a pretty heavy sweep and cap at Georgetown. Because I do want to bomb here. I'd love to clear out some of these buffaloes. So I don't think we need to sit here and watch this animation. It'll take all day. Let's get to, let's get to the point. Cool. So initial sweep. It doesn't look like we killed anything, but we got some out. All right, now this is a long-range sweep coming out of Sok Trang. I'm, I'm trying to clear out these buffaloes in case my bombers need to fly. Not bombers, these fighters. So let's see how these zeros do. I'm sure they'll do fine. Yep, swept them all. Okay, and I got... So, um, in case you haven't figured this out... Uh, these are carrier born zeros. Thought I'd figure out and do another sweep of Singapore while we we're here. And another successful sweep. All right, so these are Nels coming out of uh, near Quadra Lane. Uh, it's a crapshoot if these enemy uh, Wildcats fly or not. I have these Nels targeting the airfield because I do intend to go for Wake on turn one. And if you don't take out some of these Wildcats on turn one uh, on the ground, they bomb the crap out of your ships. So let's see how many Nels get through. Okay, looks like we lost three. Hopefully we do some good damage to the airfield. Okay, uh, not ideal. I was hoping for a bit better than that. Uh, I don't think we damaged enough Wildcats. So we're going to pay for that. Okay, awesome. So this is a uh, port strike on Manila, and so far the coordination looks absolutely perfect. All of the naval bombers formed up with escort, and they're going to go in. Um, this is your best case scenario for having a good first strike on Manila, having all of the Bettys and Nels go in at the same time. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to fast forward through this because we'll be here for an hour watching the bomb hits. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I think I do want to watch it. Okay. Okay. 800 in a child's. I'm going to put a tick mark by every sub that I see hit by a 800 kilogram bomb. Because that's more or less dead. Okay, two. Alright, those are good. So I'll put 250 pound bombs on a second column. Okay, two. Those may not kill a sub, but they'll definitely d damage it. Okay, three. Alright, I don't care about those. So I'm targeting subs. I want the subs hit more than anything else. Yeah, there we go. Hey, unfortunately, Childs is wasting bombs. Okay, good to have that in a AP. Okay, good. It's four. Okay, 60 kilogram bomb on a sub. I don't think that's that big a deal. Okay, that's another one. Okay, so that's a fifth 800 on a sub. Okay, and another one. That's just good, looking good so far, guys. Okay, 
So that's a sub tender. It's not gonna be good for it. Okay, another. Nice. Yeah, those S30. I want to get those S boats, man. Those things are the most dangerous thing to me right now. Good. Some of these may be repeat hits, but that's fine. I'm just counting the total amount of hits. Good. Ten. Okay, AO. Another 800 on a sub. Nice. Okay, Langley took an 800 pound, 800 kilogram bomb. That should, that should pretty hurt, pretty well hurt it. Okay, one of his destroyers is hit. Okay. Sub. Okay, two hundred fifty on a sub. It's three destroyers hit so far. Langley takes another bomb. Okay, that's another hit on a sub. Okay, and 60 on a sub. I know it seems kind of painstaking, guys, but I'm documenting the damage so I can try to try to figure out how many subs we're gonna neutralize. Okay, another A AO takes a big one. Okay, good. Good. Langley is gonna be dead. There's no way. That's like the third bomb hit, and two of those were 800s. Pope? I think he's dead. Another destroyer hit. Great. Good. Oh, this is working out better than I thought it would. Sturgeon, another one. Another 800. Okay, 60 on Sargo. That's the second pretty big bomb on that that tanker. Okay, Sari takes another 60. on a sub and another oh wow oh yeah okay that's 2800 kilogram bomb hits on submarines so far now some may be doubles all right All right, guys. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, I would say that's pretty pretty okay. A lot of subs are hit here. Now we still have more strikes coming in, but that's a good first start. I mean. Yeah. I wish we hadn't hit the shipyard so hard. Unfortunately, that's going to basically destroy that shipyard in Manila. We're going to be attacking here right off the bat, so I thought I'd send some bombers there to try to slow these guys down a little bit. Okay, so these are my lilies. They're going to hit Eba because at Eba there's a lot of uh, P-40s 
and you can't wail these out. So I was hoping to neutralize as many as I could. So this is good. We destroy two and damage 15. Uh, next turn, the only thing he can do is fly out whatever's still flyable. Anything that's too damaged to fly has to stay on Eva, and that's kind of what I want. You will know, either have to disband them and throw them away, or, you know, potentially lose them. Okay, hitting Quanton airfield here, because there are aircraft on the ground, and again, at Quanton, there's no rail connection on Malaya. So anything that's damaged here uh, can't fly, at least for a while. Alright, one Sally destroyed. Looks like we damaged uh, a few aircraft. Okay, not bad. Alright, another... Uh, this is going to be another port strike. Okay, Pillsbury takes another bomb hit. Got to keep the keep tally going here. Okay, 250 on a, another sub. Another sub, 250. Okay, Pillsbury, that thing's about dead. Okay. I'm hearing a sub sinking sound, so that might be the stingray or it might be something else. But either way, we, we hit a few more subs. This destroyer is probably dead. Uh, so my tally so far is 800 kilogram bombs, 20 hits on subs. Uh, on the 250 kilogram bombs, 9 hits on subs. And 60 kilogram bombs, 5. And 8 assorted bomb hits on other destroyers, and I didn't count the rest. Okay, this is going to be a port strike on Hong Kong. I want to neutralize as many ships as I can in port. Let's just fast forward through this. I'm sure there's nothing of any good value here. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not ideal hitting the repair shipyards again, but... You know, it is what it is. That should pretty much stop most of that stuff leaving Hong Kong. You notice that there were no, um, no destroyers in port, so he did send them out. Lilies are hitting Georgetown. I'm hitting both the airfield and the ships there. And you notice how we have no opposition, right? No enemy um, fighters came up. I don't know if that's because of the orders he gave or because my first sweep was that good. Alright, so we destroyed some aircraft on the ground and put some hits on some ships and really trashed that base. This I've, I've seen better in my testing, but I'll, I'll take it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, there they are. The Repulse and the... This is the Repulse, so I'm assuming... Uh, the Prince of Wales is with it. Yep. Okay. Good. Two torpedoes in the Prince of Wales. This is exactly what I was hoping for. bad I'm not loving how this strike went or is going
This is not going very well for me. I hope I can only hope for a follow-up strike, but we got two torpedoes into the Prince of Wales. That's a good start. We need way more than that, though. Yeah, see, this is a this strike is not particularly well um, coordinated. We're sending too many aircraft at the wrong kind of ships here. I really wanted them to target the Prince of Wales, not this. Well, what I can hope for here at this point is that um, we clear out all of these ships on turn one or on day phase. And on the 8 p.m. phase, we launch another strike all out on the uh, Prince of Wales and Repulse and finish them off. I, I can only hope. All right, let's just fast forward here. Alright, so this strike had way more Kates in it, which I wish it had gone for the Prince of Wales. Um, it looks like we got the Tromp, the Java, and the Everton, and the Van Ness gets away. And this should be some British destroyers, or British cruisers, yep. Hopefully we can do something to them. Alright, so we put some pretty good hits on the Durban and the Dragon. Yep, cap trapped. Dang it! <sighs> Shoot. I don't have any clue what this is going to be a single ship. Watch, we're going to lose a lot of Kates here. Yep, that was bad. Yeah, he, he baited me. Dang it. He sent the single destroyer north to, to distract me. Or, or single cruiser. This is not what I wanted to happen. And we're missing. That was really bad. Right off the bat, we lost a lot of Kates. It was a cap trap. And we only got one torpedo. That strike did not go well. Not, not happy with that. Yeah, I hope that we have a PM phase here that goes better, and we target everything at the. Um, we target everything at the uh, four C. We got to do better with the target selection. Well, now I know where his destroyers are at. So, in this PM air phase, the Allies are more or less woken up. <sighs> I just hope we don't send more bombers at that single destroyer, because that, that would not be good. Let's hope for better luck with the uh, coordination with the keep the Kido Butai. Because that's not looking too good right now. Okay. So we're sending quite a few aircraft towards uh, Kotobaru. But I kind of re was ready for that. So I have a lot of cap up. And we slice them up pretty good. 
All right, hopefully we can neutralize some more of these buffaloes. Oh, it's not going particularly well. Yeah, it's not great. So one ship, uh, one ship hit there. All right, good. Much better. So this time we're going all in on the KB. Let's hope we get some torpedoes into these guys this time. Come on. Nice. There we go. There we go. That's what we need. Okay, that's four torpedoes into Prince of Wales. That's five. It's done. We got it. Si uh, five or six. Six. It's done. All right. Finally. Okay, now we need to go for the repulse. Good. Nice. What I need to see are some torpedoes into the, um... Uh, see... <sighs> Come on, guys. Alright, let's get the repulse. We need to hit that more with some torpedoes. Dang it. See, they're going for a ship that's not there because it sank. Hit torpedoes. Yeah, this happens when you sink a ship. The, a lot of your strike is wasted because they're going after a ship that's sunk. But there's other ships in Task Force. I know they see them. Come on. Get the repulse. This is a lot of wasted strikes right here. Yeah, it looks like the torpedo bombers are just going for the... We're going for the Prince of Wales. Dang it. Yeah, see how they're looking for ships that aren't there? <sighs> Wasted strike. Yeah, see, these 250-pound bombs... They do almost nothing to the repulse. The, the deck armor can, re can repel them. I need torpedoes into it. And we're not hitting them. <sighs> yeah, this is kind of a wasted strike. We got one, but we didn't get enough. We didn't get any torpedoes into the, um, into the repulse, and I really needed to. All right, come on. Let's just get to the point. Well, okay. I guess the good news is we sank the Prince of Wales. Unfortunately, the repulse is going to get away. There's just no if ands, or buts about it, and that is going to be a problem for me later on. Because that thing can do a lot of damage to me. And there's no way we're going to be able to stop it now. Alright. So we sank the Durban. And of course we sent more unescorted Kates at a single freaking... Oh! Wow, that was not worth it. So we lose, oh, so many Kates for that. Not worth it. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, he cap trapped me good there, man. Yeah, this was a slaughter for my Kates this turn. And I really need those aircraft. Yeah, um, not too. I'm not too thrilled with that at all. Uh, 
Okay, landing at Rabal. I was able to get this done on turn one. Okay. And a major commitment to Rabal. And we're landing at San Fernando. And wake. And it's going in without the, the Wildcats interfering with the landing. Which is really good for me because we'll take less losses that way. And um, I think we'll be able to take this in the first turn here. Cool. Wake was good. We did not lose too much here. And we're landing at Eba. So, if you haven't figured it out, guys, I am going very hard in the Philippines. Kotobaru. And Minato. Okay. And a little, eh, this little guy. I wouldn't worry about that little guy. Okay, and we're landing at Kuching. Kuching. All right, and vegan, where the sub could have really ruined my day. Starting off with some ground combat in China. This one usually goes without a hitch. Alright. Shock attack at wake. There should be no reason why we don't take this on the first go. Now, I elected to send a few of the units here. I needed to overwhelm it. And I didn't want to send a whole regiment. So, this is what I came up with. But I think we should have no trouble taking this. Yeah, I think we got it. Nice. Hello, you fighting orphans of the Pacific. This is your favorite enemy, Orphan Anne, at Radio Tokyo. With music to lift your spirits and words to depress your morale. But first, Imperial General Headquarters announced Man, she's so today wordy. that... The ever-victorious forces of the Japanese Empire have captured Wake. So, we got Wake, and we bagged us 12 Wildcats as well, because there's 12 there when you start. So, turn one, very minimal casualties, no ships lost. This was probably as good as you're going to get at Wake, I think. Alright, this is the Allies just bombarding us as we land, not worried about it. As you can see, we've come in with overwhelming force. It looks like the bulk of our invasion has gone off well at Kuching. Alright, now, check this out, guys. We got a little paratrooper action on, uh, on Luzon here. So Malbon. Kabinatuan. Let's see. Bayombong. Uh, vegan. 
But wait, there's more. Lawog. And, if last but not least, a parry. Boom. Right off the bat, six bases on, lose on. Mine. <sighs> well, there's the turn, guys. Um, it was a mixed result. I got the Prince of Wales, which is definitely a dangerous ship. Uh, fortunately, the repulse is going to get away. I lost a lot of Kates today, which sucks. Uh, probably at least 20, or, or if not more, and that's bad. Really bad for me. It's not how I want to start this off. Uh, and they were just cap trapped, and I can't, unfortunately, I can't control the coordination. Uh, if they're going to go in unescorted like that, it, it just sucks. Is what it is. And then from here, we just got to gotta press on. So I'm going to go ahead and expedite through a lot of this stuff, and we'll see some numbers, and then I'll end this video. All right. So... Um, th I think for the time being, this series is going to follow a different format than my Helsin campaign. Uh, I'm not going to do, be doing deep dives into uh, uh, the turns like I am for him, uh, but we'll briefly look at numbers when I do show videos. So right off the bat, uh, this is what we got, and it's not good. <laughs> I didn't think it would be. Um, 27 Kates lost today. That's atrociously bad. And 12 Wildcats, we bagged those on the ground. Some Buffaloes we shot down. Four Nails air to air. That's over Wake. Five total. Yeah, uh, the losses to Keto Butai are not so great. And a lot of missing pilots. So, is what it is, guys. Okay. Uh, you can criticize my choice to go after... Um, 4C and position myself in the Java C if you want and I'll be happy to hear that criticism but uh, you know he did something I didn't think of it, and of course I can only test many things and he sent one ship up here and he cap trapped me because in our rules here because he's such a little whiner <laughs> he insisted on having some sort of control over aircraft on turn one so I gave him Malaya and uh, quite honestly, I think he put him to good use because uh, what he did to us was uh, pretty bad as far as the Keto Butai aircraft losses. So there you go. Anyway, guys, at this time, I'm going to press on with this campaign. I'm going to prioritize making turns over making videos. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Tell me how much you want to see, how often. And I'll try to find something that doesn't tax my time so I can work this campaign a little bit better. Uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next one.